Okay, so I thought I'd do another video on Redream, uh, and this time I wanted to do um, some car games, and I've been playing around with it, and definitely if you change the window size to 1280 by 720, uh, you get better performance. Um, so the other games I didn't really notice it on, on my previous video, but on the driving games, uh, I've also turned on the frame counter, and it, it runs better at this resolution, which is still beyond the Dreamcast, and it's still pretty much filling the screen, so uh, it's, it's a mode I'll probably leave it on. So if I go to games, uh, and the first one I was going to try was Tokyo Extreme Racer 2. So the frame rate counter is showing around about 60 most of the time, which is what we want. Yep, still sticking around 60. Just change the camera angle. Oh. And it feels fast, feels nice and smooth. This is obviously only a training level. Close. Okay, so let's try another game. Uh, this one I prefer the gameplay of V Rally 2. And I'll just go with the default track. And this is a icy, very slippery icy track. Oh, I've overcooked that. And it's a super difficult track for the uh, when you get further on, obviously that wasn't difficult, <laughs> uh, when you get further on it's really narrow. But this runs, as you can see, at 60 frames a second on this 720 mode. And looks pretty decent. The audio also changes on 1080 on some games. The audio gets a bit choppy, uh, whereas on 720 I haven't had that issue. As I say, I did, in the previous video, I didn't have uh, any issues and it was all running lovely and smooth at 1080, so it depends what sort of game you're playing, but I often find that driving games are a little bit more taxing. Oh, it's so narrow. Narrow walls and icy, nice combination. Oh. So I was also try, asked to try uh, Marvel versus Capcom. So I'll show how that runs. That's not a game I ever play really, um, but uh, I know it's obviously very popular. What a kick button is. Oh, there we go. Oh, switch of character. I don't know how I switch my character. Shoulder buttons? Oh, yeah. So, what is it running at? Yeah, 60, 59, 60 all the time. So, and this feels, it feels snappy and fast and everything. I just need some sort of special move to, to show it copes with that as well. Just hammer the buttons and see what I can get. Oh no, 
Ghost and Ghouls guy. <laughs> Is he fine for me? Let me dead. No. Well, it's not slowing down or anything, is it? So. Did I win that, did I? Crikey. Oh, still someone there. Right, so, and also uh, virtual tennis as well. Which at 1080 the audio goes a bit choppy again on this game, but at 720 I found the audio was great. And so I'm also I'm overclocked to two gig. I must try it without overclock and see uh, what it's like, but I'll do that in another video. But as you can see, this runs lovely and smooth, very playable, very nice looking, even at this lower resolution than it was. Oh, run straight past it. Okay, so I thought I'd do some side-by-side -side comparisons just to show you the frame rate and the differences between 1080 and 720. Raptor to serve. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Okay.